everyone! I would like you all to give a warm welcome to my latest Just For The Lulz Blaster, a Hydro Cannon. That runs off of two tire compressors. Yeah! At the last war, Nam brought a Hydro Cannon that uses a Hornet pump instead of the stock pump, and at 41 pumps and through a 44 inch barrel, it shoots a Gludome Stefan about 658 feet per second through a chronograph, which is really, really insane. So I kind of wanted to make one of my own, except I didn't want to have to pump it up 41 times just to get uh, crazy FPS. So that's why I decided to put two tire compressors on it. Since it uses a bladder just like the Mag Strike, and I've already made a compressor Mag Strike before, I said, you know, why not? But I wanted to use two so it fills up much faster than uh, how the Mag Strike fills up. And it's, I mean, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the inside. And how it works is, from the battery, you have an on-off switch. From the on-off switch, it goes to a lever switch that I put right next to the air bladder. And on the back of the air bladder, on the plastic bit that kind of clamps it together, I put a polycarb like tower. And when the bladder fills up, the polycarb switches the lever so that it tells the compressors to stop running. And then you can fire it. So this thing runs off a 3000 milliamp hour 18.5 uh, volt LiPo battery which fits right into this convenient custom-made battery tray right in the back and I'm using some velcro loops to hold it in so it doesn't go flying out. So I have no idea how crazy powerful this is. I just charged this battery up to its like full capacity. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up uh, this cardboard box and I'm gonna shoot at it from about 25 20, 25 feet away, we're gonna see just how powerful this thing is. It's probably not gonna be as powerful as Nam's Hydro Cannon because um, it doesn't fill the bladder up all the way because of the Polycarp Tower, but it does fill it up quite a bit. So we're going to see how this thing shoots. Let's get to it. So what is the extent of the damage that this thing can create? Well, not only does it go through one layer, it actually can go through about three. You have the bottom layer, you have this side layer, and then you also have the top. So this thing shoots kind of ridiculously hard. So I don't think I'm ever gonna be using this during an actual round. Maybe if I put some weird like ball attachment on the front of it or something, or if it's some weird like unbanned no rules go crazy around or something but this thing fits all three criteria i wanted to get in a blaster it's powerful it's a hydro cannon it takes minimal effort to pump up uh, because i don't have to do anything except flip a switch and it doesn't weigh too much it comes in at 5.25 pounds which is less than what Fenrir weighed and it's just a nice overall package and for something that has all the components on the right side its balance is really nice. Like, I have no problem holding this with one hand, and it's actually much more well balanced than that of a Rampage with like a jungle mag sticking out of the magwell, which is really weird. That, I always found that to be awkward. This is just so much nicer. There you go. That is the dual air compressored hydro cannon that I'm thinking about calling the neuterer based on Rob of Southern Brisbane Nerf Club's suggestion that he left on my fan page. Uh, I think it goes very well with what this blaster does, which is just shoot crazy and neuter things. I don't know. So I'll probably write that somewhere on here, maybe on the top. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed my dual compressored hydro cannon. I know I enjoy it. And have a great day wherever you are.